guard of honour for Kelly Chambers. Two decades at Reading Football Club. Will she get the victory to secure their status or will it be? Here, more in hope than expectancy. It would be a miracle should they pull off the win they need. They've lost 10 of their 12 matches in the WSL against the competition's reigning champions. Although, of course, they did win their last home game against champs, that victory against Chelsea. Chelsea looking to complete their fourth title and third double in a row, named the same side that beat Arsenal. Team news for you, Reading coach Kelly Chambers, honoured here today for her 20 years at the club, makes... Sophie Ingle gets us off and underway. Chelsea in their change. Canada Olympic goal winning medalist team, but they've lost that. Now, was Kerr tripped as she went through the middle? And if so, will that be a card? Hugely experienced Rebecca Welsh. Referees in the, in the England's men's game in League One. And into the box it goes. Invariably look. Charles with the cross deep into the penalty area and left there the, at the moment. Chelsea five goals superior. Right and touch took it out. There looks for Kerr. She arrives to get the shot away. It's got deceptive running gait. As Lauren James sort of smoothly cruises on the ball and then Perisek. Getting in behind, curves at the far post, Samka! Oh, goodness me, can you believe it? Twelve goals in the last 11 for club and country. 238 in her career, 88 of those for Chelsea. In 115 games, she looks in front of her. Ingle, James, holding off the challenge, she's so strong. Good block. Kith's head, not yet away. Off the bar! Chelsea so unlucky. Erin Cuthbert played the ball into the box, followed her pass. Denied by the woodwork. Chelsea nearly won up in 15 minutes. Right and trying to turn against Hendricks, and she did, and she got the cross in. And this time, they don't miss. Sam Kerr almost inevitably puts Chelsea ahead. Right and with all the work, typically so. And Chelsea closing on the title once again. Well, she horribly missed one, Sam Kerr. She very rarely misses a second. Looking for a seventh win in a row. And it's taken them as we stand, four points clear. We stayed forward. What a good cross back in the middle, it should have been in. Arriving from the deep, Justin Van Herbermatt. Should have scored, it's a lovely ball back in by Emma McCandy. Gets a second ball in, Harder was in there. Here's James, comes inside, shakes to bend the ball. Five, line of four. Not getting back in the game though, harder. Played a big part this season, though not latterly. Mini Brights to come back from injury, of course. Ingle. Saw the run of Kerr. A volleyed effort well wide by Lauren James. Ten minutes left in the half. 1-0 to Chelsea. And while it remains like that, they're with right in with the cross in it all the way through there to harder Cuthbert with the hit right in curls it away from goal Kerr came to meet it and that's her goal it's just right Cuthbert with the effort Chelsea are feeling for handball in there wasn't too far away from Cuthbert well the hand was raised moment Reading can't get the ball out of their penalty area and there's a header by James needed to be saved could stop Maloney no Barcelona knocked them out this is Wrighton in on goal and Wrighton makes it to they have one hand on the trophy now
She doesn't pick up the individual awards that other players do. She doesn't hog the headlines. But Chelsea know her value to this team, and that is goal 13 for her. Cuthbert with the ball over the top. Kith made the mistake. And right at shot beyond Grace Muller. It's Charles will give and go with Kurt. Off we go with Reading in the blue and white hoops and blue shorts kicking from right to left in this second role in WSL football at the top level. In comes the cross from right to come to her to get a shot away. Look at the blue and white hoop shirts back in then. Yet the cross nearly found Sam Kerr because the players in the blue and white hoop shirts were watching the ball and not the movement of the player. Ball away, looking at the run of Kerr, Harders in the middle. Reflected through, scoring for them after 51 minutes. On there by Kerr. January against Everton, Perisette with a corner. All the way through, a little bit otherwise, any contact would have given a penalty. Here's Kerr into the box, looking for Cuthbert. Cuthbert curls it to the far post. Oh, what a very good call in there between the goalkeeper and Brooke Hendricks to leave it. Good communications at the back with the corner kick. Justin van Hevermet up, Gemma Evans is up towards the far post it went. James again. Oops, across towards the far post, headed back into the middle, Cuthbert was there. Good ball in behind. Madison Perry cut it back into the middle. 41 goals between them this season. It's already in this season, Charlie Welling. A great ovation, a farewell ovation for Penilla Harder. Cuthbert on the outside. Chelsea fans love her. Reflected away off real signs of getting the ball. And then Canary with a cross into the middle, squirted off. Cross by Ritting Canary all the way through. Charles has run it out of play. Looking for Kerr in behind to wrap it up for Chelsea. Steers it off the post and in from the rebound. That is what she is all about. She wants to score and score again. Goal hungry, trophy hungry. Chelsea all smiles. Chelsea have wrapped up the title for the fourth year in a row with a very, very comfortable last day win at Reading by three goals to nil. And Sam Kerr has two of them the footballer of the year and that's what she is saying one two three four titles in a row Chelsea champions again by Jess Carter Chelsea are champions for the fourth time in a row for the fifth time in six glorious years Emma Hayes and her coaching team magnificent again